an idyllic sunrise over South Africa's Mpumalanga province. This eastern part of the country is home to dozens of nature reserves and national parks that draw in thousands of tourists from all over the world every year. But for the local communities that live right on the borders of these parks, access is often too expensive. Two years ago, Mike Kendricks, founder of local outreach program Wild Shots, started introducing children from local government schools to the practical skills of wildlife photography. The aim is to engage them in conservation, game drives, and show them the value and beauty of these wild places through photography. But really, the photography is just a vehicle for getting the kids interested in animals, getting them interested in wildlife and wild places, and giving them an experience of, of what a tourist sees, or maybe in some cases what their father or what their mum sees when they're working in a lodge. Mike has been running the program by himself since it started. Most of the funding and cameras come from donations. The NGO says it's crucial to expose local communities and young people to conservation activities to encourage them to actively participate. This could help spread awareness about living in harmony with nature, about sharing the land, and even help create community initiatives. So if you're a young person growing up in these communities, you've got a couple of choices here. You could look at the poaching route, and that brings short-term high, high monetary gain. Or, if you've been on my program, you might be able to see a longer-term solution in that if the animals are there for a sustainable number of years into the future, then we've got tourism, we've got jobs, we've got employment going on for our children and for the grandchildren going forward. Down the road in a small village of Bismarck, Nandifa Ndebele leads a typical teenage girl's life. She helps out with chores around the house in between her school work. But this morning is a little different for her. As a graduate of the program, she is joining her classmates on her first game drive where they'll be putting their new skills to the test. I didn't know anything about camera, so now I know everything about camera, even uh, the parts of camera. Uh, I didn't know that uh, looking after animals is important and then uh, now I know that looking after animals is good because of it. we benefit a lot from animals. The lessons she's learned may have shaped her future. When she leaves school, Nandifa Ndembele wants to become a zoologist and teach people about animals and how important they are for the country. More than a thousand rhinos have been poached in the Kruger National Park every single year for the past five years. John Tishai, a local game ranger, attended the same secondary school as these children. Today he supports the Wild Shots project together with other colleagues. I think uh, when you use the photography, some of the people they don't have the advantage to come in the bush. When you show them the pictures about the, 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 for the animals, they will learn more about the, the, the nature. It's going to have a very, very big, huge impact for the communities to gain more knowledge about the bush. The people, they were used to come here and put in the impalas using the snakes so that they can have a meal. But now, as uh, the children, they know we mustn't do hunting. They will go and explain to other people, even their parents, you mustn't go and kill the animals because it's our nature. Wild Shots has trained nearly 300 school children so far. The NGO also organized an exhibition last year to showcase some of the students' work. And now, Wild Shots has been asked to take the initiative to Kenya and other countries across the continent.